by the police. And I consider that a fighting word. Jonathan Simcox and his partner Stephen Ondo claim they were subjected to excessive force and prejudice because of their sexual orientation. In a civil lawsuit filed in U.S. District Court, nationally recognized civil rights attorney David Malik alleges several officers from the Cleveland Police Department violated the couple's constitutional rights stemming from an arrest early last year. It was more humiliating than I probably can even explain to you. Right at the bottom of the hill. Back in April, Jonathan and Stephen were walking home from a bar on the near west side when they got into an argument. They say a neighbor, who happened to be an off-duty Cleveland police officer, came outside and confronted them. He came over shouting at us, you know, saying all types of things. Just, shut up, you're disturbing the peace. I, like, pushed to get past them, and as soon as I did that, he knocked me on the ground and just started beating me, hitting me, standing over top of me, just punching me, um, repeatedly. A few minutes later, police showed up. Stephen and Jonathan were arrested and hauled off to jail. At the time, my hands were all caught up. I was covered in blood. Jonathan and Stephen say after they were released from jail the first time, they were told no charges were being filed. And about a week later, they were upstairs sleeping inside their home when they heard a loud banging outside their front door. A whole bunch of commotion, like... Oh, 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 oh. According to the lawsuit, six or seven members of the SWAT and or warrant team were on a sweep that day. Jonathan and Stephen said officers informed them they were wanted on a warrant issued for assaulting a peace officer. They say each time they tried asking questions, the officers became increasingly violent. And the officer in the glasses then grabbed me by my shirt and punched me twice in the face. After he punched me, he took me and he threw me up against the wall. Jonathan says he and his partner were wearing only underwear and t-shirts. When Jonathan's brother asked police if he could get them some pants and shoes... Say, he said, you can go get them shoes, but faggots don't deserve to wear pants in jail. Jonathan and Stephen say police ordered them to stand outside for at least five minutes in the freezing cold. Right in the middle of our yard. In our underwear. In our underwear. Handcuffed to each other. According to the lawsuit, Jonathan and Stephen were taken to jail, and at least for one whole day, their repeated requests for pants were denied. <laughs> Other people came in. We were the only ones in our underwear. People were asking us why we were in our underwear. Jonathan and Stephen's rights were violated because, and part of who they are, because they, they are homosexuals. And they went to trial, and they were proven that they didn't do anything wrong, and they were found not guilty of all of the charges against them. We contacted the Cleveland Police Department seeking comment, but the interim law director issued this statement saying, quote, the city of Cleveland is aware that the lawsuit has been filed and will appropriately address this legal matter in court. At this point, the city has no comment on this pending litigation. You know, they have a lot of power, and abuse of power is, is something that threatens not just Jonathan and Stephen, but everybody. And so a way to prevent this from happening in the future is to stand up and, and speak out and say, this is wrong. You know, the police are supposed to be there to help you. And now, after this whole incident and everything that happened, I would definitely think twice before I ever called the police again.